Hi, we're here at Identity Week America 2023. I'm Evie Kim Singh. I'm joined now by Stephen Sutherland, who's Director of Sales and Partnerships for Trust Cloud. Um, it's lovely to see you today. Nice to see you as well. Could you give us an overview of Trust Cloud to begin with? Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll try to be brief. You know, Trust Cloud, we we do very much personalize our services to our customers and to their use cases and try to make a very great partnership with them. But to kind of give an overview, we are we have an orchestration and choreography platform where we orchestrate and choreograph all digital transactions that our customers need in a secure way, um, allowing them to do end-to-end -end processes such as onboarding, due diligence on new employees, um, different needs within the, their market. Right? And how does the Trust Cloud platform work in terms of interoperability with existing infrastructure and new technology as well? Perfect, great question. Yeah, so um, we, we try to make it as simple for our customers as possible. So we have one API that allows them to connect to our choreographer, who then will, based on their use case, uh, and even if they have existing products that they already use that we need to integrate in, we will do all the integrative connective tissue, so to say, allowing them to just connect through one API or through our SDKs to our Trust Cloud platform, and then we'll orchestrate the flow between all the different services they need to give that end-to-end -end process. How are you evolving its digital capabilities, you know, in this age of innovation? Yeah, I mean, great question. So we, we it's kind of a two-part uh, aspect. So we work very closely with our partners, with our customers, to ensure that um, based on regulation, based on customer needs, based on whatever they see coming in the future, we, we will develop tools that based on their needs but then we also have a very strong IT team that is always innovating and researching to make sure that we're one step ahead of the game in the market um, without losing the essence of uh, what trust cloud is of leaving no one behind and having that humanistic aspect still very ingrained within the products and you mentioned regulation there how from a perspective of compliance and certification how are you standing out as a company perfect yeah so uh, I think one of the one one of the main things we do there is um, we, we work very closely with some of the market leaders on, on compliance and regulation to make sure that we are we have a globally compliant product, right? So we very heavily certified in, in all the major markets across the globe to ensure that we're always um, not only user friendly, but the most secure digital platform that we can be to make sure that our, our customers, uh, not only our customers, but their customers' client and the client information and everything's safe and secure. And what gives you the edge, you know, among all these solution providers here today in terms of KYC and KYB and AML pro onboarding processes? I'll bring that back to kind of that humanistic factor that I was mentioning before is one of the main pieces. We, we work very hard to make sure that all our customers, yes, they can go through the fully automated processes, they can do everything digitally, be super secure, be able to go through the processes, but we bring that humanistic aspect to our, our solution to where uh, regardless of if you're you know, from an underserved community, unbanked community, uh, you know, it was kind of one of our mottos, leave no one behind. So allowing us to bring in services like, uh, just to give an example, like our assisted video identification using our trusted referees, or as we refer to them in other markets, our, our fraud prevention experts, um, it allows us to uh, ensure that we're not having that customer churn or the abandonment rate of that 5, 10, 15 percent of customers that are unable to complete the automated processes. Whether they're automated processes with us or with a provider that our customers already have, we're able to allow them to connect to a person one-on-one, -on -one, be able to have the conversation they need and be able to complete their onboarding or their, their journey with our customers. So, well, I look forward to visiting your stand later today. Um, how have you enjoyed the event so far? Absolutely. You know, learning a lot of new things. I think it's great being in the identity space. We come from the very digital side and we're trying to add that humanistic approach to it. So it's great to be at events where then you're also mixing with companies that are uh, providing the material needs for the identification piece. So you do see there's a very much still a physical presence in the market that we need to address. So. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thank you.